Jokic is currently one of the most exciting players in basketball. He dominates the game with a level of skill that few others possess, relying less on athleticism and more on pure basketball IQ. His style of play is highly intelligent, which is why coaches across the league greatly appreciate what he brings to the court. The Joker excels at executing simple yet highly effective plays, making the game look effortless. Let's hear what some of the coaches around the league have had to say about Nikola. Monty Williams, currently coaching the Detroit Pistons, has maintained a steady presence in the league throughout his coaching career. While he hasn't led a team to notable success, he's consistently performed well. His most successful tenure was with the Phoenix Suns, where he was unfortunately let go after their loss to the eventual champions, the Denver Nuggets led by Nikola. Williams was particularly impressed by the Joker and the supporting cast around him, believing they were the perfect combination to achieve championship success. I mean, the complimentary, you hate this, the guys around him, all guys who can hoop. Gordon should have been an all-star this year. Murray, in my opinion, is an all-star. Then you add Pope and Brown doesn't get enough credit for his growth and development as a player. Um, they have the young kid from Kansas. He does not look like a rookie. Uh, Jeff Green, I think Jeff is God parted the Red Sea. I think Jeff was, he crossed over with everybody. He'd been around so long, man. It's like, they just have a lot of good players. And Mike's one of the best coaches in the league, hands down. He's put all that together with Jokic. That's why they, they've been the best team in the league. Steve Kerr is undeniably one of the most accomplished coaches in the NBA. Since beginning his coaching career, He's enjoyed consistent success with the Golden State Warriors, named one of the 15 greatest coaches of all time. During the NBA's 75th anniversary, Kerr's accolades speak for themselves. The 2016 Coach of the Year possesses a deep understanding of basketball and appreciates learning from other great talents, including players like Nikola Jokic. Following the Nuggets' victory over Kerr's Warriors, Steve Kerr gave credit to Nikola and the Denver team. But it wasn't anybody's best night, you know. Um, they really took it to us. Obviously, Jokic was amazing. I mean, he just completely dominated that game and put us on our heels over and over again. And um, so, you know, again, they're the champs for a reason. Took control of that game late second, and uh, it was a tough night for everybody, and we'll We'll bounce back. Kerr continued to explain how tough it was for the Warriors to stop Nikola. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's a lot to ask of Draymond to, to guard him, you know, the entire time out there. He's just, uh, you know, such a dominant force in, in every way. He's so smart defensively, had four steals, uh, anticipated a couple of passes that, that he stole. The pass at the end to, to Gordon for the dunk, you know, but, uh, I think with two minutes left was, I mean, I was kind of right behind him. He didn't, even, he didn't even, I don't even think he saw him. He just knew he would be there. And uh, so Jokic controlled the game, 16 assists. I'm willing to bet they, they don't lose much, if at all, when he gets 16 assists, because that means everybody else is going to. Nikola Jokic has been under the guidance of coach Michael Malone since entering the NBA. In fact, Nikola's rookie year coincided with Malone's first year as the Nuggets head coach. Over the years, they've grown together, both as coach and player, fostering tremendous mutual respect. Coach Malone, being familiar with Nikola's strengths and weaknesses, highlighted Nikola's underrated defense during the 2023-24 NBA season. He particularly noted Nikola's defensive prowess in the comeback win against the Suns, where the Joker recorded two blocks and six steals. Yeah, it's um, well, it's a difference maker. I mean, that, that allowed us, to, I mean, it wasn't just Nikola, but Nikola's activity in the paint. I mean, you know what it gets tiresome is like people criticize Nikola's defense because he doesn't average three blocks a game. But if you really are a basketball purist and you watch the game and you see he's got some of the best hands in the NBA, bar none. I think he's top five or six in deflections per game. Uh, he breaks up passes with his feet. Uh, he had a big block at the end, going up, getting vertical. So he's never going to athleticize anybody, but he is going to outsmart you. Tremendous anticipation, great hands, and uh, I think one of the most underrated defenders in the entire NBA. Quinn Snyder is one of the most seasoned coaches in the NBA, having been part of coaching staff since the age of 26, accumulating over three decades of experience. With such vast experience, Snyder perceives the game differently. His unique perspective allows him to offer intriguing insights into Nikola's game. I think he's an artistic player and you know his ability to orchestrate a game. But the other thing I think equally, there's a level of kind of humility with which he plays. It's more than him being unselfish, trying to grab onto some things that don't just say he's a great player because he's obviously that, but he's really unique. And I'd say, why haven't you seen him before? 
Tai Lu has built a successful coaching career highlighted by his championship with the Cavaliers in 2016. He's earned recognition as one of the NBA's top coaches. However, even someone with Lu's basketball mind can face challenges when game planning against the Denver Nuggets, particularly when it comes to strategizing against the Joker. No, I thought, you know, Zoo did a good job of just being physical. You know, a lot of times Zoo don't contest his shots because, you know, Joker's great at drawing fouls, getting you in the air. And so we just been making a conscious effort, just making sure that, you know, when he does shoot it, even though one leg, you know, fadeaways, he can make those shots, just get a contest. Early on, you know, in that first quarter, we didn't get contests. He made two threes. And then I thought Zoo did a better job of just trying to get out and getting the late contest um, at best. And so you can't let the MVP, you know, just, you know, tee it up and shoot open shots. And so his jump hooks, his floor, we want to challenge all those shots and make it difficult. And I thought, you know, Zoo did a good job with that. Frank Vogel was the head coach of the 2020 Lakers championship squad. Vogel has been a coach for more than two decades now and is an experienced coach who commands discipline on defense with strong principles and well-timed moves. Ahead of a matchup between the LA Lakers and Denver Nuggets in the NBA bubble, Frank Vogel was asked about his approach for Nikola Jokic. It starts with, uh, with Joker, you know, obviously. Um... A lot of different coverages go into, uh, you know, guarding his, you know, all, all of the action that he's in. You know, he's the most unique player in the NBA. You know, a lot of our, our focus today was, you know, just to go over those unique coverages. He did not reveal his lineups at the time, but he did say a few words about how the Lakers were planning to attack him. And I'm not going to release my, my lineups, but, you know, where there's, there's a lot of value in, uh, you know, trying to stretch him out, uh, make him guard on the perimeter as much as possible and um, use the space that we've been using offensively, you know, but I'm not going to release what, uh, what lineups that we'll use with that. Coach Tom Thibodeau has made a name for himself because of his tenacious approach on defense and all the principles he demands for his players to follow. Coach Thibs has been coaching for 40 three years now, so he knows what it is like to game plan for the best players in the league. Now the head coach of the New York Knicks, Coach Tom Thibodeau, was asked how the New York Knicks would approach Nikola Jokic ahead of their matchup against the Denver Nuggets. But before explaining the game plan, he had to give Nikola Jokic a couple of compliments. I mean, Jokic is, you know, obviously, it's his uniqueness and he's a load to deal with, MVP candidate every year, just, and it's not just you know what he's doing it's what he's bringing out of his team as well so uh very unique very skilled uh tough smart very gifted passer playmaker can beat you with the shot the dribble the post the pass you know the decision making is very unique and and then it's a lot more than just that they're you know well balanced on offense and defense uh murray's a load to deal with they fit together extremely well now uh, you know when you look at what pope brings to the team gordon is a very unique player as well porter gives him the shooting um so it's uh it's a very well balanced team thibs then continued to share their approach well, the thing that's unique because you're put into those situations anyway because of the dribble handoff and the pick and roll, and so you, you, oftentimes there's going to be switching that occurs. And then you know we have a lot of confidence in OG's ability to guard you know every position on the floor, and for that matter, a guy like Josh Hart does the same. You know, so that gives us versatility. You know, we there'll be stretches where Julius will have him as well, and so. Uh, but you can defend him, you know, great, and he still has the ability to make the play, make the shot, and so it'll require everyone working together and trying to make him work for things. Greg Popovich is widely regarded as one of the greatest coaches in NBA history, boasting five championships and serving as a mentor to numerous legends, all-stars, and role players who exceeded expectations. During the 2023-24 NBA season, the San Antonio Spurs organization set its sights on developing Victor Wembanyama, a task entrusted to Coach Pop. True to form, Popovich has excelled in this role, guiding Wembanyama through a stellar rookie campaign. While Popovich has shared clips of NBA greats like LeBron James and Michael Jordan with Wembanyama, he has intentionally not shown footage of Nikola. Popovich recently explained his reasoning behind this decision. I don't think anybody can do what Nikola does. I haven't shown him. You know, he's a, a one-off, amazing, fantastic phenomenon. And this was not the first time that Coach Pop has given Nikola credit for his greatness. Coach Pop truly appreciates the Joker's game and has even gone as far to compare him to a certain NBA legend. Jokic. Jokic. He's too damn good. It's not fair, all the things he can do. And you know, it, he's so funny. I love the guy. He, he, does, he doesn't look like he's doing anything. 
you know, he's not going fast. He's not jumping high. You know, it's kind of Larry Birdish, you know, in a way. But talk about skills and anticipation and decisions. He's he's fantastic. Great hands, uh, scores in every which way, involves all his teammates. Uh, so, you know, he's the head of the snake for sure. While most successful NBA coaches were either role players or had started coaching from a very young age, well, Jason Kidd is an exception. A 10-time All-Star as a player who led the league in assists for five seasons, Jason Kidd is regarded as one of the best point guards of all time. His high basketball IQ was what set him apart as a player, and it still serves him to this day, making him one of the better coaches in the NBA today. Like all others, though, Kidd finds it hard when trying to game plan for Nikola Jokic, and that has made Kidd appreciate his game a lot. When Nikola passed LeBron James and Jason Kidd on the all-time triple-double list, Kidd showed a lot of love for the Joker in his game. Uh, it's incredible what, um, you know, the Joker's uh, career. Uh, he's a champion, uh, MVP. You can list him as a center, but he's a point guard. He fills up the stat sheet. It's great that he's done. I just don't want the older guy to, to, to leave me. So hopefully the older guy stays right where he's at. But he's going he's gonna to get 108 or 107 here the way he's playing. He looks like he's young. So, um, But it's cool. Joker's going to, he has a chance to, to get a lot of triple doubles if he's healthy, uh, just the way that he plays. And finally, the most paid coach of all time, Eric Spolstra. Coach Spo is one of the greatest coaches ever. But what makes his story even more inspiring is that he didn't start coaching from the very beginning, but had to build his career from the ground up. Being employed as a video coordinator for the Miami Heat in 1995, Eric Spolstra built a name for himself as the years went on and was finally named the Miami Heat's head coach in 2008. 16 years later, Coach Spo is a two-time NBA champion, a top 15 coach of all time, and the highest paid coach in NBA history. So, when Spo talks, you better listen. This is what he had to say about the Joker. When the Miami Heat played Nikola's Nuggets in the NBA Finals, and a reporter suggested that the Nuggets are worse when Nikola is playing more of a scorer's role instead of a passer's. That, that, that's ridiculous. You know, it's just, that's the untrained eye that, that says something like that. This guy's an incredible player. You know, twice in two seasons, he's been the best player on this planet. You can't just say, <laughs> Oh, make him a score. <laughs> That's not how they play. They, they have so many different actions that just get you compromised. Uh, we have to focus on what we do. You know, we try to do things the hard way, um, and he requires you to do many things the hard way. Uh, and we, he has our full respect. And when somebody does a good job containing the Joker, Coach Spo makes sure to give them credit. First of all, nobody will go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, minute for minute, uh, against Jokic, other than Dan. Then signs up for that and he'll put himself out there and be vulnerable, you know, to the competition. And that's that's the competitor of all competitors. Uh, and you know, that that just sets the tone, but it is difficult. You know, you have to negotiate so many different things. Uh, uh, at the top of the floor, in the post, you know, they start posting up a little bit more. And then once you start getting comfortable with that, go to the two-man action. And then you have to do pick and roll basketball. You know, and then ball all of a sudden go back to him, and, and then now you have to play, you know, him off the dribble and, and try to, you know, disrupt passing angles and all, and all that. Uh, you know, but that's why Bam is Bam. In summary, coaches hold a deep respect for Nikola Jokic, and rightfully so, given the nightmares he's caused them on the court. His ability to effortlessly navigate opposing defenses leaves them scratching their heads both on and off the court. Yet, this is the mark of a great player the ability to adapt to various defensive strategies. It's precisely why Nikola Jokic is considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time.